Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. Hi everybody and welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today we're going to look at 10 ways to remember words. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's get started. Repetition. Repetition. Repetition er veldig viktig når man skal huske noe. Repetition is very important when one has to remember something. Maybe you already use the flashcards that we have at NorwegianClass101.com. Those are really good to help the words stick. Også TV med undertekster. To watch TV series with subtitles. Jeg ser ofte på TV med undertekster for å forstå det som blir sagt. I often watch TV series with subtitles to understand what's being said. Since Norway is a very small country, uh, we usually use subtitles for almost everything we send on TV, including Danish shows and Swedish shows, and we have a lot of uh, English shows as well. I'm sure you're already familiar with the Norwegian drama Scum, so that is a very popular one you might want to check out if you haven't done so yet. Å øve ved skriving. To practice by writing. Det er viktig å øve ved å skrive ting ned. It is important to practice by writing things down. Or just for remembering in general. Uh, I often write down what I need to do for the day, for instance. So for a top thing to do list, this would definitely be essential. Å lese høyt. To read out loud. Jeg leser ofte høyt for barna mine. I often read out loud for my kids. My parents used to read for me every night before going to bed, and I would even remember the exact sentences in the books. And I will go like, no, mommy, you skipped a line here. You skipped a line here. Yeah, I hope my kids won't be like that in the future. <laughs> å skape assosiasjoner mellom ord. To create associations between words. Associer et ord med et annet for å huske dem bedre. Associate one word with another to remember them better. So you can, for instance, take the word kjøleskap which literally means cooling cabinets, but it's a refrigerator. Ta-da! Å pugge ved å høre. To memorize by listening. Du bør skrive ned og pugge ord du ikke forstår når du hører dem. You should write down and memorize words you don't understand when you hear them. Yeah, when learning a new language, there's so many words that you have to learn. So unless you write them down, you're gonna forget them. So go ahead and write down all the words you've learned today. Å lese enkle tekster. To read simple texts. Det finns mange enkle tekster du kan lese for å øve deg. There are lots of simple texts you can read to practice. Uh, you could, for instance, try to read books by Anne Katt Vestli. Those are really popular and easy to read. Å repetere før du legger deg. To repeat before going to sleep. Om du repeterer noe før du legger deg, husker du kanskje alt neste morgen. If you repeat before going to bed, you might remember everything the next morning. If you study before going to sleep, you might even dream about what you're studying. So, you're killing two birds in one stone, right? To fluer i en smekk. Å snakke med venner. To talk with friends. Jeg snakker ofte med venner. I often talk to friends. Well, you should definitely make some Norwegian friends you can talk to in Norwegian every day, and then I'm pretty sure you'll get good fa very fast. Å spille spill. To play games. Spiller du mye spill? Do you often play games? You can notice how the words uh, spille and spill have the same roots. You can add an e at the end of uh, the noun and you'll get a verb. So for instance, we say å spille et spill, to play a game, or å leke en lek, which also can mean to uh, 
play a game, actually. Uh, so there are a variety of words where we use this uh, grammar pattern. Okay, everybody, thank you all for watching. We've been looking at 10 ways to remember words. If you have any advice for our listeners about how they can remember as well, please leave us a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more information. Vi ses nästa gång. Goodbye, see you again.